I got a hot one for you. Uh, let's do this one in the key of E. Think about the E bar chord at the seventh fret and ninth fret. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is take the two skinny strings of that chord. Ooh, look how my ring finger is bent backwards. Ha ha. All right, you're not gonna have to do that. Now, <laughs> check this out. I'm gonna use those two notes as my shape. And we're gonna remember that ninth fret second string, which is a, a G sharp. And the seventh fret of the first string, which is a B. Put them together, you have got part of the chord. The third and fifth. Now, to make something cool happen, we're gonna go underneath that G sharp to G, which is a minor third, and we're gonna bend it up to the major third. And I'm gonna hit both strings either together or separately, and they're gonna harmonize. All right, such as this. Kind of a train whistle. It's a woo woo. Hear that train come in. And if you need to resolve it, you can always hit a root. If you want to add a little more, you can add a sixth interval on the first string, ninth fret. And if you want to add a little more, you got your flatted seven right there. Tenth fret, first string. Yeah, you can do that in any key, but E is a nice one. Woo, I'm on a roll today.